A cordial greeting, today is Wednesday, July 19, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. In this video, I will briefly discuss Tropical Storm Don, which is located north in the Atlantic. More importantly, I will talk about a tropical wave that the National Hurricane Center has marked as an area with the potential for cyclonic development over the next seven days as it moves westward and is expected to reach the Caribbean region during the middle of next week. This tropical wave is the disturbance I mentioned several days ago that we would be monitoring for the end of July, as atmospheric conditions are becoming more favorable for cyclonic development over the next 7 to 10 days. Before I specifically discuss what we can expect regarding this tropical wave, I wanted to mention that Tropical Storm Dawn has strengthened over the last 48 hours. Currently, it has maximum sustained winds of 45 miles per hour, and it is forecasted to continue strengthening over the next few days as it moves over open waters in the Atlantic Ocean. In this infrared satellite image, we can see that the system appears more organized, and there is even a possibility that it could become a hurricane in the coming days. However, the official trajectory from the National Hurricane Center keeps it over open waters of the Atlantic. Now let's talk about this tropical wave located south of Cape Verde. This system continues to generate areas of disorganized thunderstorms. You can see that the tropical convergence zone remains quite active, generating areas of bad weather. This is associated with the monsoon trough, which has developed quite strongly west of Africa. This aligns with the forecast I have been mentioning in the past few days, and the global models are now showing some sort of development over the next seven days. In the afternoon today, the European model ensemble has increased the probability to 45% to 50% of a tropical depression forming just east of the Lesser Antilles at the beginning of next week. It's important for Caribbean residents to be attentive to this tropical wave, though with caution, as it is still too early to predict its potential effects on the eastern Caribbean region. In the past days, I mentioned that, in my opinion, the National Hurricane Center would mark this area as an area of interest for cyclonic development, and today at 8 in the morning, it happened. The National Hurricane Center marked this area as having the potential for cyclonic development. Currently, they maintain a 20% probability of a tropical cyclone forming associated with this tropical wave as it moves northwestward. The likelihood of development remains low, and soon I will be discussing the factors that could influence this potential cyclonic development. One of the main factors is the presence of a Saharan dust cloud, which is also associated with a mass of dry and stable air that dominates a large part of the tropical Atlantic. This Saharan dust is currently affecting the northeastern Caribbean islands, where air quality has deteriorated in the last few days. This mass of Sahara dust and dry air will be an important factor in limiting the development of this tropical wave. However, notice that to the north of the tropical wave, there is an area with less presence of Sahara dust. This zone is associated with a moist area that has moved from Africa and will be moving across the tropical Atlantic over the next few days, reducing the Sahara dust presence and providing an opportunity for this tropical wave to strengthen during this time. We can observe the movement of this moist air in this animation from the GFS model. The brown colors represent dry air and Sahara dust, while the green and blue colors represent the moist air mass that has moved from the African continent. According to this model's projection, this moist zone will be shifting across the tropical Atlantic creating a humid area that could allow the tropical wave to at least acquire some organization over the next few days. However, please note that the models indicate that by the beginning of next week, some dry air will still be present in the region and could limit the strengthening of this tropical wave. The current conditions are marginally favorable for cyclonic development, and if any development occurs, it should be quite slow. This is definitely good news because at the moment it appears that this disturbance should not become very strong when it reaches the Caribbean region. Remember that during July, atmospheric conditions in this region are not very favorable for cyclonic development. However, as I mentioned in my previous videos, a Kelvin wave is currently moving across the Atlantic. The passage of a Kelvin wave generally creates more favorable conditions for cyclonic development. This is precisely what is giving this tropical wave a 20% chance of cyclonic development. One of the main effects of the Kelvin wave is that it helps reduce wind shear. Comparatively, you can see the current wind shear conditions across the eastern Caribbean, typical during El Niño years, indicated by the red color representing above normal wind shear that remains strong over the eastern Caribbean region. However, by the middle of next week, the wind shear dramatically decreases throughout the tropical Atlantic. This tropical wave could find more favorable conditions for cyclonic development, thanks to the passage of this Kelvin wave and the reduction of wind shear. Now let's see what the global model's forecasts show. First, the American model, the GFS, indicates that it will develop a strong low-pressure system associated with this tropical wave and its interaction with the monsoon trough for this weekend. 
however, it keeps the system relatively weak as it moves towards the Caribbean, and it is currently forecasted to reach the Lesser Antilles region as a strong tropical wave on Wednesday afternoon. We also have the European model, which shows a strong low-pressure system developing during Friday and then follows a very similar trajectory to the GFS model, with a somewhat weak system reaching the Caribbean as a strong tropical wave that could possibly bring heavy showers to the islands of the Lesser Antilles. Other models like the German model, ICON, also show a strong tropical wave approaching the Caribbean by the middle of next week. The United Kingdom model also has a strong tropical wave reaching the Caribbean on Tuesday afternoon. The good news is that, although this system does have some chances of development over the next few days, the potential for cyclonic development remains low. It's important for us to continue monitoring the evolution of this forecast in case this tropical wave finds conditions to strengthen more than currently expected. As an example, let's look at the forecast from the ensemble of members of the American model. At noon today, only a few members developed a system, and those that did forecast development kept it as a tropical depression or weak tropical storm when it reaches the Caribbean region. In contrast, the ensemble of members of the European model, many of them show at least a tropical storm reaching the Caribbean by the middle of next week. Some even show a hurricane, while the majority maintain it as a tropical depression or weak tropical storm. This is why the probability of development is still present, and it's the reason we need to remain attentive in the Caribbean region. However, I want to repeat that there's no need to worry, this is a long-term forecast, and we'll have many days to monitor the progress of this tropical wave. For now, let's remain vigilant, and there's no reason to be overly concerned. The most likely forecast at the moment is that it will reach the Caribbean as a strong tropical wave, bringing some significant showers to the Lesser Antilles Puerto Rico, and potentially the Dominican Republic by the middle and end of next week. You know that here at Hurricane Info, I will continue to monitor the evolution of this tropical wave and provide you with the most updated information. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, go to the bottom of the video and click on the red button that says subscribe. Then click the bell icon to receive notifications when I upload new videos. Until the next video, I hope you all have an excellent day.